here we have a 71 plate BMW M3 competition. Now this vehicle comes with the BMW warranty until October 2024. We also have the 19 inch alloy wheels at the front, the 20 inch at the back. We have the red M Sport brake calipers behind. We, have the, we also have the Sao Paulo exterior yellow paintwork. We have the LED headlights. Aggressive styling on the front end, as you can see, looks really mean. We also have the gloss black front splitter. Coming around to the passenger side, you'll find the side skirts along the bottom, colour coded door handles, black door mirrors, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass at the rear. We also have the carbon fibre on the roof. If you just take a close look here, you can see just there with the, the black shark fin antennae. We also have the gloss black rear spoiler on the tailgate. Front and rear parking sensors on this vehicle with the reversing camera. We do have the quad tip exhaust, which really do sound incredible with the rear diffuser. Again, really aggressive looking at styling. Coming back round to the driver's side, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if we take a look at the interior, so coming into the back first, you'll find the leather interior. Two-tone of the black and the white. Really nice interior inside of here, we have the fixed ISO points. Also have the climb control for the rear passengers in the centre. Brush mount door handles, electric windows and the premium Harman Kardon sound system. Taking a look at the front, you find the same leather interior. The M3 logo on the headrests. Both the front seats are heated and also electrically adjustable. As you can see, controlled just down there with the memory function for the driver's side. Electric mirrors, electric windows, Harman Kardon sound system, automatic lights down there with the ambient lighting, automatic wipers. We also have the multifunctional steering wheel, which is where the carbon fibre trim continues on the interior on the steering wheel and also paddle shifters either side. We do have the digital dashboard in front of us. If you put our foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle starts up for us. We have the cruise control speedometer on the left, volume buttons on the right, along with the individual M mode buttons, which you can set up yourself. Now we also have no warning lights on the dashboard other than for the fuel level, so nothing to worry about. We also have the heads up display just up here, if the camera can pick it up. If any screens or lights are flickering, it's just the camera not flickering in real life, so nothing to worry about. We do have the sat nav on here, along with many more features you would have seen on the photos. If you go on to media, you find the radio stations, we have the news, Spotify, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth phone connectivity just there. We also have all these apps that are currently installed on the vehicle, along with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Going on to the main menu, you'll also find we have further features. If we go on to car, driving information, you find the sport displays, pretty cool features to have. Going back again, we also have the M menu, which is where you'll find the individual M setups, which you can change all these different options and set it for each of these buttons on the steering wheel. If we go back again though, we do also have the drift analyzer just there. Back again, down to the settings, go across, you'll find the interior ambient lighting just here. It's currently on green, but also has all these other colors which you can go through. We have the intelligent safety system, making it a very safe vehicle to drive. Moving further down, you'll also find the dual zone climb control for the front passengers. As called air conditioning, we also have the heated seats either side as well, all working as they should do. Again, carbon fibre trim here in the centre, the cup holders underneath there, automatic gearbox, which has the different drive modes. You find sport, road, and then also the track as well. If we hold it down, it changes to the track mode. If we go Onto sport, you can see it also changes the look of the dashboard and also the heads up display changes as well compared to the just normal mode. Then, if you put the car into reverse, you'll find the reversing camera with the parking sensors on the right. Put it back into park by pressing P with the electric cam brake, auto hold button, and we also have a nice little M3 competition logo there. Armrest in the center as well, which can be opened up for more storage. But that's all I'm showing you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.